Citizens, it's that time. You're officially in Alert Zone. Welcome to the Alert Zone TV. I am the Wizard, Uncle James. Hope everybody's having a good day. You already know what to do if you want to become an active citizen. If you're 18 years or age or older, practice your Second Amendment rights. It is not illegal under the Constitution. So, let me go ahead on and get into it. I got the Smith & Wesson ST40. Be clear. Uh, home defense. It's cold again out here today in Iowa. Safe direction. I'm in control environment outside. I just wanted to drop a quick video and talk to y'all about something. And I want to talk to you guys about how convicted felons came to be and how the Voters' Right Act and the punishment for that became the loss of people's firearm privileges. And uh, I'll get into that real quick. So for those of you who don't know, the Voters' Rights Act was an act that basically gave black people and non-black people the right to vote in America. The catch-22 to it was, in order to take back voters' rights, certain crimes would be classified as felonies. So this is where this got started. Back in the 65, the Voters' Rights Act of uh, 65, 64, 65. So that meant that crimes that people had committed before and paid their debt to society, they was able to move on. Well, in order to go after voters' rights, they decided to attach firearm rights to it and citizenship. Meaning, once you get convicted of a felony, you lose these. Now, for those of you who don't know, every 25 years the Voters' Rights Act got to be voted on. And it has to keep passing Congress. Well, they keep stripping it and stripping it and stripping it. One provision they never gonna strip is the Convicted Felons Act. So for those of you who don't know, for those of you who may have been convicted of a particular firearm, uh, uh, con uh, convicted of a particular offense and lost your firearm privileges and you've never been able to get them back, I want you to understand where that origin comes from. For those of you who don't know, Malcolm X uh, was an advocate for people being lawfully armed in this country after he had already did eight to ten years in prison for burglary. So felons wasn't around, that term wasn't around until after the Voters' Rights Act. And they decided, well, not only will we take their voters' rights back, but we'll also take their uh, firearm privileges, their Second Amendment rights. So that's how that became to be. So once black people got the right to vote, what the country had wind up having to give up was your firearm rights if you got convicted of certain crimes. So in reality, it was meant to go after us, but it's something everybody suffers from. That's why you have to write the governor and the governor has to approve you to get your rights back. So that's just a little fact for those of you who don't know. I'm kind of shaking because it's colder out here than I thought it was. We got the heat on in the house. So um, I just wanted y'all to know that, that that's how that became about. So if you're a felon, no matter what your color, creed, whatever it is, and you can't own all your arms, I want you to know where that came from. When we got the right to vote, they said one punishment is going to be if you're ever convicted of particular crimes, you are not able to be allowed to own a firearm. Hit me in the comment section and let me know what you think. Until next time, everybody out there, stay safe, stay on, stay on high, high alert. It's freezing.